Hey, how's it going everyone? This is the Anime Man. Welcome back to another long-awaited episode of Japanese 101 where I teach you guys the ins and outs of Japanese. Because this is an anime channel and you're obviously a bunch of weebs who want to be Japanese. So why not start by getting the correct education on the culture and language first? In all seriousness though, it's been a hot minute since the last one of these. I actually don't remember when the last one of these was. It was probably so long ago. And I decided to come back stronger than ever by teaching you guys instead of things to say in Japanese, I'm going to be teaching you guys what not to say in Japanese. And the words I'm about to introduce to you guys in this video are words that I, as well as almost all other Japanese people, will highly recommend you to not say in public, especially if you're in Japan, or especially if there is a Japanese person around. These words are offensive, rude, taboo, and just not very nice to say at all. And I apologize in advance for any Japanese people watching this video, just know that I am biting the bullet for educational purposes. Without further ado, let's dive into the taboo. That was an unintentional rhyme. Let's ease into this list by starting off with a word that is, I guess, the least offensive out of everything I will say in this video. And there's one that actually might surprise you, considering if you watch anime, play Japanese games, or watch Japanese dramas and movies, you've probably heard this word more than a number of times. And that word is, shine, which simply means, die. Now you might not think that a word which is used to represent just a natural progression of life can be used as a curse word. Excuse my nihilistic existentialism. But kind of have a think about it. If someone just came up to you and told you to just straight up die. Unless you're a nihilist, that's not something that gets a lot of people excited now, is it? I mean, yes, we live in a world and a part of a community where every video's comment section is 70% filled up with KYS, but it's still something that's not nice to say in person. Especially in the case with Japanese, it is probably one of the worst insults to tell someone. Because contextually, Japanese does not have an equivalent of Fuck. We can't say fuck in Japanese. I actually did a whole video about it, which was actually the very first Japanese 101 episode that I did. Links in the description. Because they don't have words like that, Japanese usually rely on clean curses, which hold some kind of context which put into is offensive. So even though you hear it everywhere in anime and games when they're all like, SHINE! Or some other derivative like, KUDABARE! Don't go saying it to people. Keep that shit on internet forums and YouTube comments where it doesn't mean jack shit. The next word I'm introducing is a word that is specific to women. Now gents, listen up. If you ever use this word I'm about to tell you to a Japanese girl, just be prepared to get your dick cut off on the spot. That word is abazure, or its derivative which is more commonly known in Japanese speech, Yariman. It has a number of meanings, but the most basic definition of these two words is slut. Ugh, just saying that word is so dirty. Slut. Ugh. Now again, some of you might hear the English translation be like, no, that doesn't seem that bad. But as I mentioned in the first word, in Japanese, context is life. I find that Japanese curses are very synonymous to a punch in the face. The cleaner it is, the harder it hits. You don't have to dilly-dally around with fancy moves and additions of words like fucking or goddamn to make the punch just any harder. What I'm basically saying is if you say either of these two words to a Japanese woman, just expect to get a punch just as clean and straight to the point as the word you just uttered to her. The next word is a word that's translation in the English language has also become quite a controversial curse, especially in recent years due to the slowly developing PC or politically correct correct culture. And that word is kichigai, which roughly translates to, and excuse me, retard. Now I realize that if I start talking about the political correctness of the word retard, then this video is going to just be 10 times longer than it already is. So we'll save those can of worms for another time. Some people use this word in a comedic value, while some people just find it outright offensive. And to be honest, the same can be said for kichigai as well. I've seen some people use it as a word to just jest at to their friends. Oh my kichigai ka! Or use it as a way to say something really mean to someone. Kono kichigai ya since it is a word that is meticulously balancing itself on a very thin and sharp knife's edge, it's probably best to just avoid using the word completely altogether. Actually, now that I think about it, the word itself is kind of like a knife. It can be really handy and essential when put into the right situations, but put it in the wrong hands and you've got yourself a terribly bloody mess that you can't get out of. And this last word here is easily one of the worst words that you can say 
in Japanese. I basically made this video around this word to try and introduce you guys to possibly the worst thing you can say in Japanese. It's not a harsh curse word like fuck or shit, let alone it's not even a controversial word in English. Well, not naturally. It's actually nothing more than a part of the human body, but said in a wrong way, and it's one of the worst things you can say in Japanese. And that word is... <clears throat> manko. It's gross to even say right now. <laughs> Best Safari Man impression 2017. The word is translated to vagina. You know, that thing that all women have. Although, based on the contextualization of the word, the translation is actually more fitting to the word cunt. Mind you though, just because the word is equivalent to the C word, that doesn't mean you can go around and call people a mongrel. Like, you can go up to someone and be like, you stupid cunt, but you can't go up to someone and go, you bakamango. That would be like the equivalent of someone coming up to you and being like, you stupid vagina? It doesn't have quite the same punch, does it? Now, being born and raised in Australia, we use this word in a very different way to the way that a lot of other Western countries use it. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still a terrible fucking word to say, but it's kind of, the, the punchiness of it has kind of died down a little bit in Australia. Probably because every teenage dude calls each other that word. Oi, can't get over here! But in Japan, this is a word that you will never hear outside of things like porn. If you even utter this word in Japan or in front of a bunch of Japanese people, then just be prepared to hear possibly one of the biggest gasps of horror you will ever hear in your life. <gasps> The gas will be so large you think you just stepped into an anime world for just a second. And that's pretty much all the bad words that I can share with you guys that you should never say in Japan or to Japanese people. Now you might think, oh Joey, that wasn't really a lot of words. And you're right, like on the grand scale of things, Japanese is a very clean language that doesn't really have a lot of curses. Japan is all about context and so they don't have to rely on these harsh curses that you can put in front of something to make it contextually offensive. But there are also many sentences that you shouldn't say or is recommended that you shouldn't say when you're in Japan or talking to a bunch of Japanese people, which may or may not use the words that I mentioned in this video. So here are just a few examples of sentences that you should never say in Japan. Oi, manko name sasuro ya. Oh, sumasen. KY ってなんすか? どう考えてもいまどき必要ねえだろ。日本人って中国人や韓国人と一緒だよな。日本って放射能汚染されてるから行きたくねえな。ごめん、俺ラブライブ大嫌いなんだよね。え、ごめん、嵐ってだれ。
you can try out the full program. And again, the prices are quite reasonable for online language learning services. So if you'd like to learn some Japanese that you can actually use or you'd like to improve on your Japanese, then I suggest you check out LinguaLift by clicking the link in the description below. Also, if there are any other Japanese lessons that you'd like me to cover in the next Japanese 101 video, then make sure to follow me over on Twitter and tweet me your suggestions. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. As always, like and favorite if you enjoy. Subscribe for more anime banner, and I'll see you guys next video, whatever I may. Keep watching anime. Ciao,